Hi guys, what's up, what's up? Uh, today I'm going to uh, talk to you about the RP Digitech 1000. I'm going to teach you how you can connect your RP Digitech, uh, Digitech RP 1000 to your computer and use it as an audio interface. So you can record your song or record your guitar playing uh, while using your computer with a uh, DAW or digital audio workstation so what cables do you need and what you need to set up in your DAW so you can use your Digitech RP1000 as an audio interface okay so let's go uh, before you use your Digitech RP1000 as an audio interface uh, in conjunction with your computer you first need to download the drivers from Digitech's official website. So we can search it uh, via Google. Uh, Google is our best friend. Let's search specifically for Digitech RP1000. So yeah, click this first one. And from that, uh, we want to go specifically to this tab specs manuals and downloads so let's click it and then from from this uh we want to go here manuals and downloads and then from that this is the driver that we need uh rp1000 driver version 2.1 for windows so go ahead and click that it will automatically download and here here it is Let's go see it there, right? Uh, I just want to make it easy for me. I just want to cut this one and let's just paste it here in my desktop so it's easy when I extract it. So from here, uh, just extract the files. Desktop. There is one. So we want to install this, right? I already have it installed in my computer, so I don't, I don't need to do this, but if you haven't, uh, just click run as administrator, just click install. Just double click this um, RT, RP1000 driver installer. So that's it guys. Um, after you have installed the RP1000 driver, uh, we can go ahead to our digital audio workstation. I am specifically using uh, Cubase LE 10.5 so I'm gonna show you how I configure my setup in the DAW and Cubase so I guess if you're using any other um, brand of uh, DAW I think it will be the same uh, commonly it is found under um, audio settings or studio settings uh, in Cubase LE it is found under um, studio settings so I'm going to show you that in a while, so I'll see you in the next section of the this tutorial. So if you have successfully installed the RP1000 driver to your computer, uh, at this point we can connect the RP1000 unit to your computer using the data cable. Um, so let me just uh, show you the picture of what it looks like, the cable. Uh, this is it it's uh i think it looks like a printer cable yeah. so that's the data cable uh you will need to plug this at the back of the um, rp1000 unit here right here okay and if you are planning to connect your rp1000 unit directly to your studio monitors um, you need this type of cable uh, this is the RCA to uh, a quarter inch uh, jack. This is for the uh, left output, uh, both on mono, left and right output uh, mono uh, jacks. So, yeah, you would connect this 
RCAs at the back of your studio monitors. Uh, in my case, I, I'm using the Samsung BT3 uh, studio monitors. So I, ha I have this uh, type of connections at the back of my studio monitors. So I can connect it directly to my RP1000 so that I can hear the sound uh, inside of my RP1000 while I am recording. So I, I would plug this to the, at the back of the RP1000. All right. So yeah, let me just show you the uh, picture of uh, uh, the inputs and outputs here. So the quarter inch jacks, you need to plug it here. So for the left output and right output, all right, and then connect it to your directly to your um, studio monitors or also your if you have a mixer, you can connect it to your mixer. So what I typically do uh, for monitoring the sound while uh, recording on my DAW, I use uh, the headset the headset input. So I'm using my um, uh, Samsung headset also here. And also another tip I can give you is uh, when you are recording direct to your mixer or direct to your uh, computer or direct to your uh, PA, let's make sure that this is set to mixer. The amp mixer switch, just press the button here. So what it does is optimizes the, uh, the RP1000 unit uh, for recording use when you are connecting directly to your mixer or studio monitors or directly to a PA. So the sound is much better when this is uh, set to mixer. And if you are connecting to an amp and you have the, and you have your amplifier mic'd for recording, uh, you want to select amp if you are using a, a guitar amp for recording. Let's go ahead and open the uh, digital audio workstation uh, that you are using. Uh, for me, in my case, I'm using Cubase LE 10.5. So I'm going to open it right now. All right, we want to create an empty project. Mm, let's close this. And for, yeah, for Cubase LE 10.5, uh, we want to go to Studio and under Studio, Let's go to Studio Setup. Under the VST Audio System, uh, let's just make sure you have it selected here from this um, panel. So for under VST Audio System, we want to select RP1000 ASIO. Okay. Let's just uh, click Switch. All right, so as you can see, the uh, this one changed to RP1000 ASIO. So we just want to see what's inside this, right? You can see the configuration of for for the inputs and outputs in here. And you can also click on control panel if you want to see the configuration for uh, the audio buffering for the RP1000. So you can um, drag this cursor here to select uh, the latency. So if you want a low latency, just uh, go ahead and select here. And if you want high stability uh, to avoid um, crashes from the door, off the door, yeah, here. So let's just choose the middle one, the default setting, 36.1 MS. And if you notice that the delay, there's a delay in the signal from coming from the RP1000 um, to your uh, door or to your computer. Just try to lower the latency, the setting here. Uh, try maybe 10 milliseconds, milliseconds, yeah. Just go ahead and click OK, and click OK here. OK, guys, that's the end of our tutorial for today. Let me know on the comment section below if it worked for you. And also, please don't forget to click subscribe and like and hit the bell button for more of these videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video.